Hello. Today we're going to get started by showing you how to install Visual Studio Code. This is a free development tool from Microsoft that works both on your PC and your Mac. So I'm going to show you how to install in both cases and uh, how to get started with this very powerful tool so that you can learn how to code. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load up my browser and I'm going to search for Visual Studio Code. Now you can go ahead and do this in any search engine, Bing, Google, whatever works best for you. It should be the very first link. Go ahead and click on that link and it will take you to the Visual Studio Code website. So this website's a great resource has a lot of great information about the tool, uh, what you're able to do in it, a bunch of how-to videos. So I highly recommend when you get a chance, uh, go ahead, go through the website, check it out, see what you can do. Go ahead and click that big download code for Windows button. Depending on your connection speed, it should take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. It is a relatively small download size, so it should be very quick. So in this case, my is done. Go ahead and click run. And this will take a few seconds and that's really it. Basically, Visual Studio Code is going to work all its magic and start installing for you. There's no setup options, no uh, things to check or anything. It does everything automatically and configures it for you. So let's go ahead and give this a second and let this install. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Visual Studio Code is now installed. It was a pretty quick and seamless installation. One thing to note, it's if you want to learn more about specifically some of the features and all the little ins and outs, I highly recommend doing the quick tour that's noted here on the page. Uh, it leads you to a series of videos and web pages that really take you through all the ins and outs of what you're able to do in Visual Studio Code. So that's all there is to installing it on a PC. I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to install Visual Studio Code on a Mac. Thanks. Okay, so welcome back. We already went through how to install VS Code on the PC. You saw it was extremely simple. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on my Mac. So I'm actually using an older Mac, but it is updated to the latest version of OS X. And I will show you that it's just as easy to install VS Code on your Mac as it was on your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to Safari and load up your favorite search engine. Of course, mine is Bing and do a search for Visual Studio Code. It should be the first link that comes up. Go ahead and click on it. Now you'll see being we're using a Mac, the site automatically knows uh, that you're on a Mac and it's going to suggest the correct version for you to download. So go ahead and click download code for OS X. Give that link a click and again, depending on your internet speed, it should take only a few seconds to at the very most a uh, few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and let that download. So it's done downloading. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our downloads folder. Now, if we wanted, we could just run Visual Studio Code right from here by double clicking on it, but we're not going to do that we actually want to bring it over to our application so that it's it's in our application section on our Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag over to the applications. And then if I click on my applications and scroll to the very bottom, you'll see Visual Studio Code. So all we have to do now is double click on it. And the very first time you load it, it's going to warn you because this is an uh, application from the internet. You can go ahead and just hit open. It won't show that from now on. You want to go ahead and do that. And then it'll take a few seconds and then bam, it will open right up again. There's no installing. There's no setup. It just works. It's, it's pretty simple. And then from here, you can go ahead and start using it. So enjoy.